gap standing for Jesus Standing in the gap for family and friends Standing in the gap One love for all So we all can make it in Is that we want to keep you updated on uh, what's going on in the world today and um, how 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 you can see that spiritual warfare that is uh, going going on in the world, and um, we always want you to understand that God's word is not out there somewhere. It's all involved in in the world. In and so these current events, the news that you see, if you can't look at it on a spiritual plane also, then you're missing the point. You're missing the point. So what we do is we want to uh, keep you in, uh, informed. Marvel has, uh, is uh, in charge of what we call Gap News to uh, to keep you informed. We just turn it over to her. She's got something for you. All right, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I had I had on my mind to do a certain Gap News, and maybe we'll be able to revisit it next year. There's so much going on in the world. Just I mean, you know, I could pick from here, I could pick from there. There's so many things that we could focus on and talk about how current events are affecting our lives. But uh, we had a very exciting development that came up yesterday. And when it came up yesterday, it just turned my mind around about what we were going to focus on today. A couple weeks ago, we had Women in Charge. This one also was about very powerful and very brave women. This evening, a D.C. federal jury issued a unanimous verdict holding Rudy Giuliani accountable for defamation. That's $148 million. That's the amount of damages that a federal jury determined that Giuliani must pay Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, the two Georgia election workers that Giuliani falsely accused of stealing votes in the 2020 election. After the verdict, Giuliani came out to the cameras. Possibly we'll move for a new trial. Certainly we'll appeal. The absurdity of the number merely underscores the absurdity of the entire proceeding. The comments they received I had nothing to do with. My comments had no connection at all to those. There were thousands of things on the pre in the press about this, of which mine were a small amount. You'll recall that back in August, the judge, Beryl Howell, issued a default judgment against Giuliani based on his admissions and failure to turn over evidence in the case. Accordingly, the task for this jury was to simply put a number on the human toll that Moss and Freeman suffered because of Giuliani's lies. Now, cameras are not allowed in federal court, but we know what that toll looked like because Moss and Freeman have indicated the injuries that they suffered when they testified before the January 6th committee last year. I've lost my name and I've lost my reputation. I've lost my sense of security. A lot of threats, um, wishing death upon me. A lot of them were racist. A lot of them were just hateful. It was horrible. I felt homeless. This turned my life upside down. Don't want anyone knowing my name. There is nowhere I feel safe. Nowhere. Do you know how it feels to have the President of the United States to target you? The mother and daughter said that because of Giuliani, they were the targets of racist attacks and death threats. And this jury clearly agreed. Joining me now to break it all down is former federal prosecutor Christy Greenberg and Ken Friedman. Friedman was the press secretary for Giuliani's victorious 1993 mayoral campaign. So, Christy, first up, what are your thoughts on this judgment? Sweet justice. This is a great day for the justice system, for accountability. You have somebody who is the former U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, my old office, who used to prosecute the mob. And now he here unleashed a mob on two innocent people, just civil servants trying to do their jobs. And as a result of his comments, as a direct result of his comments, these women went through hell. They you know, had to move. They couldn't find work. They were you know, terrified for their safety. I mean, what he put them through, they lost their lives as they know it. And so for Rudy Giuliani to say that 
that, you know, the, the numbers are absurd. You know, anybody should think about if your whole life was changed and, and you felt like you couldn't walk outside, what would be a price for that? You know, the punitive damages here, the emotional stress that's involved. The jury was clearly sending a se serious message, not just to Giuliani, but anybody else that has a platform that when you lie with impunity, there are consequences to that. So, you know, this man perhaps better than anybody. Um, how is he going to be able to satisfy this judgment? And what does the future look like for him with this $148 million sort of Damocles hanging over his head? Well, he's not going to be able to satisfy it. And, you know, even if they garnish his wages, um, it's going to take 100 years in order to pay that that judgment. Uh, but listen, I hope election deniers everywhere were paying attention to the, the judgment today. And they realize that you can't defame people, particularly uh, private citizens who are not public figures. And Rudy should have known that for sure. All right. Um, but he went, he, he picked on, you know, people who couldn't defend themselves um, instead of picking on people his own size, you know, the low hanging fruit, so to speak. But but David, David won today. Um, listen, I, I've known him a long time and I worked with him uh, on his first successful mayoral campaign. And I never knew him to be self-destructive, certainly not this self-destructive. Um, he lit himself on fire, then he doused himself in gasoline. And he actually tripled down today, if you think about it. He defamed them, then he defamed them again. And, and today he defamed them a third time. So he just keeps digging a deeper hole for himself. Well, he keeps digging this hole, Ken, but Ruby Freeman and Shay Moss continue to state their truth. And over time, their truth has actually been surfaced as debunking Giuliani's claim. So here's some tape from the January 6th hearing that makes that clear. Ruby Freeman and Shay Freeman Moss and one other gentleman, quite obviously surreptitiously passing around USB ports as if they are vials of heroin or cocaine. What was your mom actually handing you on that video? A ginger mint. A ginger mint. How do you, what do you think about that person that you saw in that clip? And does that square with the man you once worked for, the man who was once known as America's mayor? No, as I said, he, he, he didn't pick on, he didn't pick on little people. You know, he picked big fights. As, as as mayor and U.S. attorney, he went after the mob. He went after Wall Street. He didn't go after, you know, defenseless civil servants. OK, and and um, it's it was despicable that he did that. And, and people saw through it. Um, he says he didn't get a fair hearing or a tribunal uh, in court and he's going to seek one elsewhere. He obviously did get a fair hearing. And I don't know where he's going to where he's going to go to get uh to get satisfaction, um, you know, in a new trial or in, okay. a, in, a, in an appeal. Here is Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. It looks like they are going to make their way up to the mic here, uh, Jeff. Uh, okay, let's listen in. Ms. Freeman and Ms. Moss are going to give a brief statement, and they won't be taking any questions after. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Shay Moss. I spent 10 years as an election worker in Fulton County, Georgia. The lies Rudy Giuliani told about me and my mommy after the 2020 presidential election have changed our lives. And the past few years has been devastating. The flame that Giuliani lit with those lies and passed to so many others to keep that flame blazing changed every aspect of our lives. Our homes, our family, our work, our sense of safety, our mental health, and we're still working to rebuild. As we move forward and continue to seek justice, our greatest wish is that no one, no election worker or voter or school board member or anyone else ever experiences anything like what we went through. You all matter and you are all important. We hope no one ever has to fight so hard just to get your name back. We're very grateful to the jury for taking the time out of their busy lives to do their civic duty, to listen to everything that we've been going through. I know I won't be able to retire 
from my job with the county, like my grandmother did, but I hope by us taking these steps, these very big steps towards justice, that I can make her justice proud. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am Lady Ruby. Today's a good day. A jury stood witness to what Rudy Giuliana did to me and my daughter and held him accountable, and for that I'm thankful. Today is not the end of the road. We still have work to do. Rudy Giuliani was not the only one who spread lies about us, and others must be held accountable too. But that is tomorrow's work. For now, I want people to understand this. Money will never solve all of my problems. I can never move back into the house that I called home. I will always have to be careful about where I go and who I choose to share my name with. I miss my home. I miss my neighbors. And I miss my name. I've heard some of you. Don't be sad for me. Don't waste your time being angry at those who did this to me and my daughter. We are more than conquerors. Pray for us as we continue to fight the good fight of faith. I tell my attorneys, often. My friends say that God knew who to give this assignment to because if it had been them, they wouldn't have been able to go through this. God chose me to go through this because he knows that I would tell everyone whose path I cross about Jesus. I'm strong and my faith shall never waver. From day one, I said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. If you remember one thing I say today, remember this. Faith is what carried us through the most difficult years of my life. And faith will carry you through hardships that you face in life. Understand that the devil is a liar. He is defeated and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Trust that God will keep and protect you. Believe that right makes might because it does. I thank God that I'm not intimidated by no one or their lies. Give thanks that injustice always surrender in the glorious kingdom of God and that he will always lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you. My question is, how are you going to collect? At this moment, Rudy Giuliani owes $500,000 in unpaid taxes. The IRS has a lien on his Palm Beach property. He's selling his Upper East Side apartment. It's on the books for it's on the it's, it's on the market for six million dollars, but it hasn't been sold yet. And his consulting firm defaulted on a debt for a phone bill. How are you going to collect? Sure, uh, we've already put the pieces in motion for that. Uh, we are intending to collect every nickel of it. We'll see how much we ultimately find and how much we ultimately recover. The most important question, how are these ladies feeling? Uh, they've been through hell, obviously. We've played some of the voicemails. Uh, so we've, we've read through some of the messages they've gotten, the death threats. How are they feeling sure. uh, this evening? They, they feel good today. They feel good today. Uh, this is one small step in their journey. There's more work to be done. Uh, this week, in fact, was hell at trial. Uh, it was very difficult to get on that stand and to uh, talk about what happened to them. And we're very appreciative of the jury that they recognized, understood, and spoke on what happened to Ruby and Shay. 
I, I must ask you, um, you know, despite this very big, very important win, and, and I must add, they were very brave. They testified before Congress. They were willing to come through, come forward and tell their story. So uh, kudos to them for just being great, uh, you know, members of the civic community. But sure. Rudy Giuliani didn't do this for himself. He did it for a guy named Donald Trump. Uh, right. The originator of the big lie is Donald Trump. I'm sure that these ladies are exhausted by having to deal with a court case in which they had to, you know, relive their traumas. But has sure. there been any consideration that maybe the next lawsuit should be against Donald Trump? All options are on the table for us. Uh, we're continue, continuing to monitor this situation. As you know, it's an evolving situation. So there are a number of things we're considering. So uh, there hasn't been a decision made on that as of yet. But we are looking at all options. Yeah. And, and the, the, I guess the, the sort of obvious question is, I mean, beyond that, there are lots of people in the state of Georgia who are now mm -hmm. facing a criminal case, uh, a sure. RICO case, meaning that it was not just a couple of people who were attacking Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. There was a band of people, a band of 19 people. And when they think about some of those people, some of whom were African-American, who were harassing sure. them directly, do they feel that they ought to also have to pay a civic price for that? Sure. Uh, anyone who was involved in this, I think, could theoretically be held accountable for it. Um, there are a lot of factors that go into selecting the lawsuits that you actually br uh, bring, when you bring those lawsuits, how you bring those lawsuits, where you bring those lawsuits. So this was the first step in a long journey. Well, please pass along from the readout audience uh, our congratulations to your clients, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. We around here consider them to be heroes. Um, they defended democracy. They didn't commit crimes for Donald Trump. They told the truth. Uh, and they also help people vote, which is actually my favorite thing that they do. People who help folks vote and who are working uh, at, the, at that level. They don't get a lot of money for it, but they definitely deserve great praise. So please pass that along to them. I certainly will do that. Thank you, Joy. Thank you so much, Von DuBose. So, they won. They won. <laughs> Man, they have been through hell. Lady Ruby and Shay, they have been through hell. And to think that, uh, like she said in her uh, January 6th testimony, Imagine the President of the United States targeting you and then lying on you and then getting his little uh, sergeant to lie more and go all over the country telling lies. You you are passing drugs and whatnot like that. I am so happy that that they won and that they won big. Um, what you guys say about that? Well, I was thinking about that as that was going through, and um, it reminded me of uh, the book of James. It talks about the power of the tongue and, um, you know, how destructive words can be. And um, this, this, this actually showed how destructive it can be and change their lives uh, for, for a lie. And I also thought about uh, how we always bring up the uh, scripture that says, uh, uh, about all liars, about what God's going to do for all liars, <laughs> and then, and then um, Micah six eight when it talks about do justice, and this was justice was coming justice. home to uh, finally coming home to roost, and it, it is a little strange how the uh, how how Donald Trump isn't caught up in that that mess yet, and I'm I'm, I'm I would like to see him get his uh, uh, comeuppance for uh, his part in that. It wasn't just Giuliani. No, actually, I think uh, Trump put Giuliani up to it. And then Giuliani, of course, like I said, went all over the country telling that big lie. Um, but, you know, I, I didn't realize this. I saw in one of the news reports, these women had to go into the witness protection program. Mm -hmm. and, and like uh, Lady Ruby said, she can't go back to her home. People were knocking on her door and threatening her physically, uh, both of them. They, you know, they were having that level of threat to their lives. Um, in one of the testimonies or um, interviews that I saw, Shea Moss said, 
her biggest fear was that her ninth grade son would see one of them hanging from the tree in front of the yard. What what awful, awful, awful um, repercussions from that lie that was a lie. It was a lie from the beginning. It was never true. There was nothing about it that was true. And then these ladies had to, like I said, go through hell. But I, they did come out victorious. And I love that what Le, uh, Lady Ruby said that I came through this. We came through this because of our faith. And that was what held them uh, and brought them through. So, and she gave a little sermon too, didn't she? Yes, she did. She well, did. She stood up for that. Some people wouldn't, you know. I mean, she... She 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 had a little platform there, and yeah. she took advantage of it. She sure did. She praised uh, God and Jesus. So, yes, you know. she did. Yes, she did. Well, so those are that's our gap news for the day. You got anything else to say about that, babe? No, I think it was well well presented, and I think everybody everybody can understand what what they went through, and finally justice, and hopefully justice keeps uh, rolling in this matter. And, uh, We'll see. But 